Donald Trump, I hate you. You will never be president again. We don't get that they voted for someone who's going to make my friends' lives hell. What's going on, EV gang? We got another video today, man. It's going to be the last video for today. You know, they just tried to take down my video that I posted earlier. And I had to re-edit it so I can repost it because of guidelines about the... You know, I can't say it because we no longer have freedom of speech. So, you know, you'll see when I re-release the video. But anyway, this video is, as you can see in the beginning, definitely towards the liberals that are having complete meltdowns on TikTok and different social media platforms over Trump's re-election. Man, I told you guys before, the world is going to be in shambles on either way, on either side, left or right, Republican or Democrat. But these Democrats and liberals, boy, they are taking this way too far. They are taking this way overboard to places it doesn't need to go. They're going to extents that they don't need to go to. But let's get right into it. Let's watch the rest of these videos of these liberals having a complete meltdown on camera for the public. It's not a good look. And I know both sides of the party is not perfect. There's people, crazy people, wild people on both sides. But a liberal meltdown, man, you always get a kick out of that. You always get a kick out of it. It's just, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's insane to watch. Like, how do people like literally like take, I, I, you're supposed to take voting and democracy and your country serious, but to go to these extents, it, let's just get into it. <laughs> I hate you, you fucking orange pumpkin. You just come to me. One of the most important people in my life. My dad. Donald Trump, I hate you. You will never be president again. You don't get that they voted for me. Well, yeah, he's not going to be president again after this term. Uh, this is his second term. Eight years. Don't think he can run again. So, yeah, obviously. But cut her some slack. She's in a distraught state of being right now. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cut her some slack. <laughs> Someone who's gonna make my friends' lives hell. My life's okay. I'm a white woman, but my friends. Uh, I'm a white woman. My life is okay. Oh my gosh, this is just outrageous. These are not gonna be. <laughs> oh boy. I can't believe Trump's actually gonna win this fucking thing. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm so pissed off. Fuck! 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 God damn it! I apologize to the viewers for that one. That was absolutely crazy. But dude, put your, don't rip your shirt off like that. Like, come on, man. Like, go hit the gym. Do something. But you over here tripping and talking foul out your mouth like that. Using the Lord's name in vain. Over this? See, these beta males, man, they, they got something different in their blood. I don't know. I'm scared to go to sleep. I might wake up a motherfucking slave. Hey, bro. A slave, bro? A slave? What, what, what you got? A time machine? You gonna try time travel? <laughs> a slave, bro? Like, come on, sis. Come on, sis. Get it together. A slave, though? Oh, my. <sighs> <laughs> y'all like why are y'all Trump supporters? Like why? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, turn the music off on this one so we don't get no copyright strikes because I can't afford no more strikes on my channel right now.
hysterically crying one minute over the pain of this situation and then hysterically crying the next minute watching so many people come together it's all right it's all right i feel that way too it's I'll all right you. who is it we feel that way together okay let it out <laughs> let it out <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, no way, bro. There's no way. There's no way. Oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait, wait. We gotta run that one back. That that last one was hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, she should really try out for like a scary movie or something. That is crazy. Hold on. That's uh Go back to this one. Where we at? <laughs> hey, bro. Hold on. Let it out. Let it out. Hey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. All right. All right. That's enough of that. Man. That is funny. Oh, boy. Woo. Yeah, she let it out all right. She definitely let it out. She was manifesting. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. She was manifesting demons on that one. <laughs> oh, boy. That is so funny. That's crazy. But, man, these liberals, man, they need help. I think they need help coping right now. Uh they they really can't handle this loss. They really think it's going to be the end of their life for God knows for whatever reason. All the indoctrination that they've been force fed and that they've been consuming is just crazy, outrageous. But that was some funny stuff. That right there was some funny stuff. But God bless them, Lord. I, I just ask that you give them the peace and guide them through this rough patch of life that they're going through, I guess you can call it. Man, oh man. I seen a comment earlier on uh under a post of another liberal tweaking out and somebody said that uh therapists are about to make a bag <laughs> this year. <laughs> oh boy, therapists are definitely about to make a bag this year off of these liberals. Cuz they need help. They need professional help. They are weekend oh lord help them lord help them i guarantee you guys like i guarantee you i want to say within the next eight months people aren't even going to be thinking about donald trump anymore and this election and if anything people are going to come to their senses and realize like oh donald trump isn't actually a dictator donald trump isn't actually taking my rights away donald trump is actually helping the economy like it's it they're overplaying this they're overplaying their hand definitely overreacting very much tweaking all right so another thing i wanted to talk about on this the stream was lebron james le liar le bluff le cap the guy is just a puppet man yes he's Arguably the biggest name in sports right now. Definitely a sports legend icon, a basketball icon, basketball legend, certified Hall of Famer, great at his job, great basketball player. I give him his credit credit where due. Where I give credit where credit is due. And honestly, I'm I'm a Lakers fan. I've been a Lakers fan my whole life. My favorite basketball player growing up has been Kobe Bryant. That was a player that I looked up to to you know style my game after and used as motivation before I went to go play in little leagues and, you know, things of that nature. But the things that I see LeBron James, you know, supporting, endorsing, and promoting and lying about, like, I, Kobe Bryant would never do nothing like that. Never. I'm not saying Kobe's perfect because we all have flaws and faults, but he's just outrageous with stuff, bro. Like, he just, just goes along with anything, and it's kind of sad. But... I got a post that I've seen that he posted that's, you know, pretty viral. You know, it's LeBron James. Got over a million uh, likes. 
and over however a hundred million hundred thousand comments and probably a few thousand shares but it's this post right here let me pull it up bigger so you guys can see it so he posted this earlier today in the morning and it was in regards to the election and it says the caption under the picture says heavy on my mind or I'm sorry, heavy on my heart and mind, this AM, my princess. I promise to protect you with everything I have and more. We don't need their help. Who is there? Hmm? Mr. James, who is there? I think we all know who there is or who they are. But first of all, you are LeBron James. You are a billionaire. Your son, your oldest son is in the league with you on the same team. You and your family are straight. Your daughter, you don't have to worry about your daughter for anything. She's good. And as a father, that's your job to protect your kids and your daughter. That's your job. To love them and protect them and provide for them. So, yeah, I agree with that part. But the we don't need their help. Like, why would you be dependent on the government for anything for your kids? You're a billionaire. Your kids, 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 kids don't need for nothing or want for nothing. So, like, why? What is the what is the relevance in this post? What is the purpose, the reason for this post? And then also another post LeBron had said or made not too long ago was, let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Together, it was awesome. Oh yeah, I'm not even gonna play the the sound because it's pointless. You know, I'm pretty sure most of you guys probably follow LeBron. You can go on his page and look at it if you want to. But the caption says, what are we even talking about here? When I think about my kids and my family and how they will grow up, the choice is clear to me. Vote Kamala Harris. Dude. Like I said before, your kids, 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 kids are straight. They want for nothing. They don't need to depend on the government for anything. If anything, you should be protecting your daughter and your kids from... Turning out like D. Wade's kid. The government is just going to harm them more than anything. They're allowing kids to, I don't want to get demonetized or, you know, flagged again on YouTube for saying something because, you know, we don't have, we don't have freedom of speech anymore. But y'all know what D. Wade's kid did and is doing and what D. Wade supports. And I don't even got to say too much. And if you don't know, go look it up because I'm not getting flagged again. <laughs> It's too much of a hassle, and I'm just not doing it. But, I mean, unless your kids end up turning out like D-Wade's, then there might be an issue there. But you, your family doesn't need for nothing, dude. Come on, man. Like, as a Lakers fan, I'm kind of ashamed right now. And, you know, I like LeBron. He's on my team. I can't hate him. I have a LeBron jersey, dude. I have a LeBron James jersey. I don't even want to wear it no more though, because like the dude, he just he he's he caps, he lies, he's he, he's a puppet. He goes along with whatever they tell him to go along with because he has what I think it says, one hundred and fifty nine million followers, and his name is LeBron James. LeBron James, like come on, bro, everybody knows who LeBron James is. Even if you don't follow or you know keep up with LeBron James, you know who LeBron James is. There's only well, now two, but there is was only one LeBron James with a name that holds the weight that it holds in the sports realm. It's kind of like unacceptable, bro. Like, just do better, bro. Just do better. You, you know, have a mind of your own. Voice your own opinion. Don't just go along with whatever they tell you to go along with because of the Hollywood narratives and agendas that they're trying to push on the world. And even with that name, Kamala still did not win. Even with that endorsement, she still did not win. So what does that tell you? The people have spoken. The people feel strongly, and they voted and voiced their opinion the way they they were supposed to in the way that they felt best suitable for this country. And that determined the outcome of the winner of the next president. So, LeBron, I just need you to do better, man. And I just feel ashamed to even be a Lakers fan right now. Even and 
I don't even make mean to make this too much about sports, but the past couple of seasons getting beat in the playoffs and just do better, bro. Do better. It's a sad, sad situation how these big names are used as puppets and how these people are taking this to heart and acting as if their life is over. Their livelihoods are completely over. Like, come on, man. Eight months to a year down the road, Trump's in office. This is all just going to blow over. But if it doesn't, I see a civil war. I see a civil war coming because they're taking this to the extremes. People on the right are celebrating, happy. People on the left are distraught, absolutely distraught. <laughs> it's 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 a sad situation. I, I I I empathize with these people. I really do feel bad for them because they really either they're just so badly indoctrinated they just don't know what they're doing or they don't. They, Man, I don't know, dude. It's, I can't wrap my head around it. I literally can't wrap my head around it. But I do want to pull up some scripture, as I always do, because we cannot make a video or a reaction video or a stream and not dive into some biblical scripture. It says right here in Proverbs 4.19, The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. These liberals that are just absolutely tripping out, spazzing, tweaking, however you want to call it, they don't know exactly what they're stumbling over. They don't even know why they're tripping. They don't even know why they're idolizing somebody. They don't they don't even know why they're allowing a human, a man, one person to determine how their livelihood is how they feel. They can't control their emotions because of one person being elected as president of the United States. I can understand if this was like North Korea or Germany or some some place out there like that, where it's a possibility that there's a real dictatorship at hand. But this is the United States. That's not going to happen. OK, that is just not going to happen. They don't even know why they're stumbling and tripping. But it says the way of the wicked is like darkness. So if they haven't repented, if they're idolizing somebody as their savior to save the country, other than Donald Trump, because they think he's going to destroy it and take their rights away. And as the one girl says, she <laughs> thinks she's going to wake up and be a slave. Like, shorty, like, come on, bro. Dude, he don't even take office until January 5th. But you're going to wake up tomorrow and you might be a slave like you're idolizing somebody as a savior other than Jesus Christ. So it's saying the wickedness, the wicked is like darkness. The way of the wicked is like darkness and they do not know over what they stumble. They just don't know how to have self-control over situations like this when things go against them or things don't go their way. I can guarantee you the way that these people were cussing and talking and acting with no self-control, I can pretty much tell you that they probably are not repented. They're not Christian. And I can tell you also for a fact that if you vote for Kamala, you can't, I mean, you can claim Christianity, but you can't support the things that she supports and the agenda that's being pushed and claim to be a follower of Christ. It's just, it, it doesn't mix. You can't do it. It's dark. It's wicked. The way of the wicked is like darkness. So they obviously are just brainwashed and they don't know. So, and I'm going to leave that at that. But I have some more scripture. Luke 23, 34. Jesus was saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots, dividing his garments among themselves. So in this chapter and verse, it's talking about when Jesus was being nailed to the cross, being crucified. Jesus prayed and asked God to forgive them because they don't know about the evil that they're doing. They didn't believe he is the Savior. He, they don't believe that he's the Messiah. They don't believe he is the Christ. They genuinely don't believe it. So if you don't believe something, then you don't know it. You don't know something that you don't believe. And he prayed for, the, for their forgiveness because he knows that 
they don't know what they're doing. They're being told to do that by the higher ups, the people that were running the government back then. The leaders of their government were telling these Roman soldiers to crucify Jesus, and they were going along with it. The Jewish people, Jesus' own people, were calling for him to be crucified because he claimed to be the Christ. Now, when you have your own people and the government all against you, 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 you can't win that situation. And to have the humility and love that Jesus has to ask and pray to God for their forgiveness as the Christ, when he came to save and reconcile us back to the Father and give us the chance to repent, and him being so perfect and being sinless and to be treated and just bashed and beat the way he was, it doesn't make sense. But for him to ask for forg forgiveness because they don't know what they're doing is the ultimate love that you can have for anybody, especially those who hate you, persecute you, beat you, slander you, crucify you, want to take your life, deny you, deny the fact that you say who you are when you know who you are and they deny it. Boy, that's, that mm, it gives me the goosebumps almost every time I think about it because it's sad, but that takes strong and a lot of power godly power and godly sorrow to pray for those who do you the way they did jesus so with that being said i end this video here i love you guys catch you guys on the next one thanks for always tuning in with me i'm more than grateful peace if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the post notification bell so you get notified every single time that i drop a new episode and video make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think about everything that we went through today. I love you guys. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord willing, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.